In this episode, we introduce our female German Shepherd, Kona, to the boat. If there is one reason you should watch this video in its entirety, it's her. Out of our three dogs we've had on the boat, she is the boat dog. The other two? Well, you'll see them in future episodes. We also installed toilets. No, not there. We try not to get poo on us. And failed. Let's face it, there's no good way to say it other than, well, it was just crappy. One of those necessary, crappy jobs we just had to get through. How is it we're three years into this thing and I still haven't wired the rear macerator pump up right? Oh, I know. It's this little thing right here in the garden. Time. Did I mention I need more of that? So we decided we wanted one electric head we'd put in the Ford cabin and one manual head in the aft cabin. We had all kinds of hoses and clamps and valves to replace. The hardest part I have about editing all this video is trying to keep my timeline in check, so some of these projects did get done before the haul out, but you know what? You'll be fine. You can deal with some of my not-so-in-order video shenanigans. Got our one and a half inch hose. Was that video our, take me the whole day? The whole day, you know, just right now. Our eight dollar one foot hose to finish up the front toilet. And, a then, fan. It's, and then it's done. You got oh, a that fan? just happened. No. But yeah, I need uh I don't Wait. Hey. I have to pretend that the lens is the button. Uh, what the heck are you doing? I feel like I'm ET right now. To the boats! Kona's first time on the boat. What do you think, Kona? What do you think? Where you at? So while Kona got used to the boat, we got started on the projects. I swear, this is the epitome of a lot of the issues we have on this boat. That's eight different failure points on just one section of this hose that fed seawater into the Ford head. And that was after the one through haul that couldn't originally be closed. Talk about the potential for sinking. Here's where the water comes in, goes through a check valve, and tees off to feed the forward and aft heads. The one going forward fed up this direction, through this mess. That is what is leaking right now. Our problem was, in order to fix this, we would have to cut this line, which is beneath the water line, with no way to shut it off. There it goes. Alright, hold up. Now just bite your finger off, it should be alright. Get stuck in there, which is good. Yep. Okay, right. so we're above the water line. And yes, that was a little nerve wracking. The inlet heading to the back of the boat had similar issues and both had a temporary fix that looked something like this until we hauled the boat out to get new seacocks put in. So here is some of the new plumbing that feeds water into the heads and here is our new electric Ford head getting ready to go in. Why is there a toilet in the middle of the boat? Don't pee in it. Hello. Hello. You doing mama? Mama painting? Taping off so we don't paint on the pretty colored wood. The rest cool. of it can be painted. This did require running some wires, cutting some holes, and you know how they always say measure twice, cut once? And you know how sometimes you just go for it? At least I'm not drilling into poo hoses here. We got the power coming in. It runs through the switch, loops, and wire right into the motor. For our electric 
toilet. So we'll have one electric and one manual. So I'd like to say the reason that it takes forever to get anything done is because of stuff like this, where I don't have the right tool. But the reality is, I grab something, I put it down, and then I grab something else, and then I can't remember where I put the first thing, and I'm walking back and forth trying to find things. So, yeah, that's why. But, getting there. Got it bolted in, got it wired in, and then we'll have to try it out after I finish wiring it up over there. So yeah, we're not done yet. I got main power fused and ran to this switch. In and out. Label to the electric head, grounded to the bus bar. And I'm gonna use this first switch here. Basically sending power to the head. Don't touch my wall. Ah, Your arm is by my finger. It was so close to the paint. All right, we're about to try the electric head for the first time. Push the button. Uh, crush fingers. If it explodes, <laughs> do my pants. Stop, 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 stop. Why did it do that? Where's it leaking from? All right, I guess figure out where it's leaking from. Number one leak. Round two. I think I'm more excited about finding my eight millimeter nut driver than uh, I was. Uh, you didn't this, find it. Oh. I found it. It's leaking. Where? So more leaks, and it also wasn't flushing. <laughs> we had to pull the entire thing apart and figure out one little part wasn't installed right. Well, third time's a charm, right? But the finished product. I put vent loops on both. There's not room enough in here for two. Let me close the door and just see if that's possible. Shower time! Okay, there is room for two. You got a better shot. Oh, what the heck? Whoa, somebody's grabbing me. Somebody's grabbing me. So on to changing out the macerator pump for the Ford holding tank and the hoses that feed it. I need a face. I need a face shield. I have to come up with something. I'm not getting sprayed again. With... If you ruin my white shirt with this poop splatter, I made a face shield so I don't get sprayed in the face with poopy. <laughs> So my plan is here, I'm going to take this off, I'm going to put it in this bucket. And explain why we're doing this. So it can come through the macerator and get chunky monkeyed up and pushed out. It starts leaking out of the macerator, so it has to be cracked underneath or something. So we're but we have on. a brand new Shifu to put in there. Alright, good luck. Out. I'll be out later. Yeah. Right, Just kidding. Should I stay here in video? Is it because I was kneeling on this? You put pressure on it and, and it, it made the boop, 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 boop sound. No. That's the sound the toilet made as it squirted in my face. Oh, what the... Oh. <laughs> put yeah. my poop shield back on. <laughs> Your <glove> broke. <laughs> Just <laughs> flick it at me! You got poo on you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> So on to the rear head, which was just a new manual replacement. New hoses went in, as it was just as bad as the front was. This one wasn't leaking from right here, but it was leaking from right at the wall. That is right where it busted. So we're making progress. No more portable toilet on the boat. All right, enough with the toilets. Our cockpit drain fiasco is next. You just got in my way. I'm trying to come up here and film mommy. She's working on getting the cockpit drains fixed. I got some tools right here. Ryan, I can't get this stuff up. I don't know how I'm going to get in this little tiny hole. I'll start working on it. All right. So these two drains come down in here. They Y and they go... One of them is here, one of them is here. They come in together to a T. They come down into the T, come down next to the engine and go right to that sea cotton. This was really sketchy, so last time I shut this, which you would think that leaving your boat, you would want to close all the sea cocks, right? Well, the way this is designed, you can't, because if you close that sea cock to the cockpit drain area, it fills up with water. And I thought, you know what? It's, it's not gonna rain that much. It'll, it'll have to fill all that hose up and the cockpit before it would actually overflow, which, is exactly what it did. Hey. hey. I'm from Australia. You're from Australia? Anyway, we had a little bit of a flood because I didn't trust that hose that was there. Uh, a little bit? It could have been worse. 
Right now, we're working on making making the tee to go up to the drains. To show you how bad this hose is, sorry for the AC noise, this right here, I am literally just twisting. And that's what we got right there. This is what drains the whole cockpit area, you know, what, what... Oh yeah. Uh oh, hey! There's a hole in the boat. I see you. There's a lake in the boat. This is my good angle. You look pretty cool with those glasses. Oh, Kayla, I meant to tell you, nice socks. So that's dangerous. What? My toe? Dump all that water everywhere. I thought I'm holding it because she likes to dump it. Hey, little girl. Oh, I dropped that. Alright, so we got a little bit done today. A bunch of hose is hoses. So, number one, we already got the engine hose. It's in the new raw water strainer. We did the water inlet for the heads. Comes in to a check valve and tees off and goes forward and aft. So all new hose to the toilet. And the back one comes through the floor, under the floor, and comes out right there. And goes into the vent loop and back down in. We ran brand new one inch hose from the forward holding tank macerator pump all the way out to this seacock. Did the one for the air conditioning pump. So comes in, loops in here, put a brand new water strainer in, back into the pump. And lastly, the one inch for the sink drain. We got new fan, which is right in front of the AC vent. Because why do we need the new fan? I need my other two fans. Danielle yeah, wants yeah, two or four more fans like this one. This fan works pretty good. Like they have all different positions. The other one's just there. But this one you can do all kinds of, there's all weird stuff. So if you're sleeping there, you can push it down. I just like these fans. I'm bougie. What, Kona? What is it? Bougie and expensive. She probably got to go potty. She's on the couch. She's really light. Ooh, oh my gosh, my nose looks so long. <laughs> So, all, right, let's get all, this stuff. all in all, pretty decent day. Okay, I have one last doozy of a leak to show you. While checking the bilge, we had another leak spring up. Spring being the key word. All right, I have a little bit of water bing from the port side of the boat. So after trying to chase our leak, you can see it was wet on the bottom of this wood right here under our kitchen sink, and the wall was wet up to like right here. The bottom of our sink, where our faucet is, is looks like it was where it was coming from. So up here, all this was wet. We had water pretty much in this general area right here, but nowhere else. And we couldn't figure out where the water was coming water from right here. until we realized our spring water had a tiny hole in it. So it's been leaking out. So trip trip. Nothing to fix. Yeah. So Kona thanks you for watching the video and told me to tell you, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, to get off your lazy to please hit the subscribe button and join us on our adventure. Alright y'all, thanks again.